Hey, how's it going? Well, I can't remember exactly how long ago it was that I made a community post showing an image of this chart, showing different materials that lenses can be made out of, and then it was showing their index and their ABBE value. AB, I don't really know the exact right pronunciation for that, but the AB value is how accurate the lens is. The lower the number, the more chromatic aberrations you get. The higher the number, the more close it is to being an accurate representation of what you're supposed to see. You know, on uh, camera lenses, they're just about always made of glass because it has the least amount of chromatic aberrations. Now, you're probably sitting there going, yeah, what are chromatic aberrations? Well, I'll show it right now. You'll, you're watching this video, and you're seeing me put a chromatic aberrations effect over the image. Okay? I'm sure you've seen this sort of thing before, but you might not have known the name for it. Maybe, you'll just, maybe you just thought of it as distortion. But if you have any sort of uh, prescription that's any more than like negative 2.5 in each eye, um, when you look to the edge of your lens and you look at something, let's say, let's say you have a dark background and you have a white line, and if you put to one side, you'll see the, the red, it's split up and the red will be on one side and the blue will be on the other. You switch over to the other eye and it's the exact opposite. And you might not have even have noticed it before. But maybe you will after this. One of the main things that ends up happening is people will say, oh, you'll get a new pair of glasses. And there might have been a very specific pair of glasses that made you feel this way more than others, right? You get a new pair of glasses, you put them on, and you're like, oh, I have to squint when I put these on. Why do I have to squint? What's up with that? You know, and there's nothing really wrong with a prescription. And they could check it over. Yeah, everything seems good. But you still have to squint when, you put, when you're wearing them. And sometimes when you're wearing them for a long period of time, you get headaches. Again, this may not actually be from your prescription. I mean, it could be too, but it might not be from the prescription. It might be from the materials that your lenses are made out of. So, as we see here, I'm going to put this image up here. Um, polycarbonate is the strongest material. It, you know, as far as, you know, it can take a, a beating and not crack or break or any of that. But as you see, it has an AB level of 30. It's the worst. It's the worst one. Followed by high-index plastic, which is the thinner version of plastic. Now, that's what they had put into these. I let the, uh, the, the, the glasses shop guy talk me into these. He says, no, no, the, the, the high-index plastic doesn't have that problem. Yes, it does. It's just a step above polycarbonate. But, uh, so, I mean, I learned the hard way with that. Uh, and that's what made me even look this stuff up, because it's just like, yeah, I want to get the exact stats on this. There's some sort of a, a, new, a newer material called Trivex, Trivex, I don't know much about it. I've not heard glasses stores talk about it before, but uh, um, you know that's uh, has an AB of forty three. The uh, the standard plastic, the regular thick uh, plastic called CR thirty nine, has the second to the best at fifty eight, and then of course there's regular glass, uh, not the thin glass, just regular glass at fifty nine. Now. You know, if, if you're having problems with having to squint a lot when you're wearing your glasses or, or, you know, and you just got new glasses, yeah, consider getting the regular plastic CR39. I, the reason why I don't say glasses, just, I mean, you drop your glasses, it's, they're shattered, it's, it's done, you know. At least you have a chance of, you know, of recovering your glasses if, you, if they fall off your face or whatever onto concrete. You know, at least there's a chance they're recoverable, right? You know, if you get plastic, but with glass, it's it's done, right? So, anyway, I just wanted to, to make this video to primarily show you what, what chromatic aberrations are, and also to show you what this chart meant, because there was never really a good explanation for it before. Anyway, thanks for watching.